Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use Input Visualizer with an excellent broadcaster to show both your key presses and mouse inputs directly onto your live streams and recordings. Stay tuned. So I'm excited about this tutorial video today. Input Visualizer is an often overlooked plugin, I think at least, with an excellent broadcaster. What this does is it displays your inputs on the keyboard and mouse as you click buttons or click uh, the keyboard, and it does it in real time too. This is perfect if you're a gamer and doing a competitive game. Uh, your viewers can see what keys you're pressing at that time. Or if you're doing tutorial videos that use a lot of hotkeys, this is also really good for that too. So stay tuned, let's get into it. Okay, so now we're gonna set up the input visualizer within our scene on the XSplit Broadcaster. I'm actually gonna change camera angles as well. That way you can actually see my keyboard as I'm inputting into the visualizer once we have it all set up. So let's do that right now go to our studio cam. Hey guys. All right, so we have our keyboard here, my laptop, and we're gonna set up um, XSplit Broadcaster with Input Visualizer first. To do that, go down to Add Source, find more sources. We're actually going into the plugin store to find the plugin. So let it load, and just simply type in Input Visualizer, and it will search for it and find it. There's also a gamepad visualizer here. Uh, we'll probably be covering that on a separate video, but today we'll focus on just the input visualizer alone, which is over here. So this is a plugin that displays your key presses and button clicks on screen. You can select to show or hide specific keyboard and mouse components and also customize it too. So click on this to install. Once it installs, you can close the store and we'll be good to go. Now let's set everything up within our scene. So my scene right now is just the webcam overlay. But of course, if you're doing it for gaming, you can have your gaming overlay as the main source and then your input visualizer on the top of that. Tutorial videos, however you wanna set it up. Go to add source, general widgets, and click on input visualizer. And as soon as we do that, we get a really cool overlay here. We have a full keyboard. We have a number pad of keys as well. We have function keys. The entire keyboard is here, including our mouse and our left and right buttons. Now we can drag this anywhere we want on screen, and it's actually broken down into segments or parts as well. Here is our main keyboard. We can put this down the lower left if we wanted to. Now this will really kind of depend upon what your layout is, what you're gonna be using this for. So you can kind of customize it and move it to how you need it to be for yourself. But for today, we'll just kind of move it around down to here. Put the function keys back up here as well. So I like how it's broken down into parts of the keyboard. That way you're not stuck with keys you don't need because you can also remove and hide some of these as well. We have the keypad. Put all this over here, kind of how it normally is. Let's put it down the bottom of the screen for now. All right, we have our arrows and number pad. And of course our mouse can be over here. All right, so there's a ton of options here. We can make this change colors, so it's more bold if we want, uh, and stands out in front of our source screen, which is of course the webcam right now. So right click on Input Visualizer, and here is our menu. All right, so select the input and mouse components you want to show. If we click the main keyboard here, everything will go off screen. Click this main box again, everything is shown for the keyboard. And same thing for the mouse as well. We can show or not show the mouse by clicking or not clicking that box. And we can also break this down then. Uh, we can get rid of the function keys if we want to. Get rid of the uh, alphanumeric keys there and the system keys and navigation and just leave the number pad if we wanted to. So it's really customizable to what you need to use it for. If you're gaming, maybe you're just using specific keys, like number keys or the arrow keys. So you can let those on screen if you wanted to. Again, it's really up to you here. We'll put them all on, I guess, for now. That's probably the easiest way to go about it. All right, and let's see here. We can also have the text be a different color. We can choose 
red. So that's kind of cool. So all of the keys, then all the text numbers change to red. Or if you want blue, any color you want, you can change to that. Blue is kind of hard to see there, so we probably won't go with that. We'll go with yellow, maybe. It's kind of hard to see as well. Kind of depends on your background, I guess. So whatever you're using for your background source, again, make sure they can see it for what you're using it for. You can also do a border. So we'll do, uh, let's see here. These are around all of the keys. What really pops out for me, I guess, red does here. And also a glow. So glow is kind of cool. I don't really see the glow all that much here, but I'll go with like a pinkish glow. There we go. You can also change the opacity. Right now it's at 100%. You can use the slider here if you want to and lower it. So it's not quite as visible on screen. If you want more of like a kind of minimalist look to it, not an overbearing or powerful effect, you can kind of go for a lower opacity. Okay, we'll keep it at 100% for now. And again, you have other color options here, as in regular for all of the sources. They always have the color layout and effects options. All right, so those are the main customizations with Input Visualizer. Again, you can pretty much customize anything you want. You can show what keys you want to show in groups. Uh, you can show the mouse or not show it and such. And then you can also shrink down or make each input bigger or smaller. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's click on the mouse over here. So we can just drag one of the corners and you can make that bigger on screen. So that's kind of cool. All right, or we can make it smaller again as well. Shrink down very, very small if you wanted to. Keep it about that size for now. And again, same thing with all the other groups of keys. They can also be shrunk or resized through the easily. So just think about what content you're making. If you're doing a game, think about what parts of the keyboard you use the most, and then maybe hide the other sections that won't be used during the gameplay. Tutorials, um, if you're doing hot keys a lot of the time, your main keyboard would show. You probably could hide the number pad probably a lot. Um, for instance, if you're showing the snipping tool for Windows, that is using the uh, Windows key, Shift and S. So those keys there, of course, would be used in the regular keyboard. All right, so once you're set with this though, um, we should be good to go. Another little feature here is this little checkbox for locking components. What this does is if you lock your components here, when your mouse is over the inputs on your X split screen, uh, they are locked. You can't resize them, you can't move them, so they're kind of set in place, which is a nice feature because you don't want to mistakenly resize or move one of those input visualizations around uh, by mistake during your stream or recording. Okay, so after you have it laid out how you want to, showing the keys or the mouse, and the things you want to show on screen for the input visualization, once you have your color set up as well, and your source, uh, you're all set, but you also have to give permission to this plugin. Otherwise, as you're inputting keys, nothing will happen. So don't think it's broken. You just need to give permission to this to do that. So we'll go up to uh, Tools, click on Permissions, and right here. So the following sources and extensions are requesting your permission to execute scripts, which may be harmful to your computer, but of course, it's not harmful, okay? We'll click on this here. This is for our scene, we're on five right now. Input visualizer, we'll click on apply and okay. And now as you can see here, we're good. So the glow effect is the input effect itself. So we chose like a pinkish purple color. I'm clicking the left mouse here as you can see, the left mouse is glowing as I click it in real time. That's really cool. Uh, if I just click it really quick, you see it, if I hold it down, it stays there. Right click, so that's really cool. Space bar here, and all of the keys, of course, as well. So again, this is a really cool little thing to use with an expert broadcaster. Uh, whether you're gaming or doing a tutorial video, you can show all of your keyboard and mouse inputs in Expo Broadcaster. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. Give it a try yourself. Uh, customize all the layout and make sure you have everything ready to go. And then uh, give it permission. Don't forget, permission granted, right? Otherwise it won't work. Thanks guys.